clobbering time! My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard And they're like, it's better than yours Damn right, it's better than yours I could teach you, but I have to charge My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard And they're like Luke, I ate your father No, 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 no. You have been warned. Let the demonetization process begin! So, let's talk about fat people, specifically fat women and their attempts to date. Now, I found this article to be extremely annoying before I even got around to actually reading it because it just kept showing up on my Twitter feed and wouldn't leave me the fuck alone on vacation. Oh my god. Let me tell you, this picture did not help its case, because every time I saw it, my head would explode all over again, attempting to quantify what it was I was seeing on the screen with my bloodshot eyes from traveling in sleep-deprived brain. Because, <laughs> I mean, if you look at it initially, you can't tell if that's back, and if that's two arms protruding from her chest, or if that's a full boob, and a single arm, or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Naturally, I commented on that picture, trying to use my resources like a good little college student to uh, suss out exactly what was going on. And of course, that was uh, utterly horrible of me to uh, do. Horrible. <laughs> how, how dare I ask a question? Bad Weibo. I keep seeing this picture and it baffles my mind every time. Like, are those hella saggy tits or are the arms protruding from her torso in the wrong direction? I have no fucking clue, guys. Someone help me out here. To which I got two responses, and they were worth a mention, not really worth an entire video on their own because that was like the only thing that came of it. Where does this opinion come from? Is it that men don't seem to be attracted to you, leading you to hate on bigger women because you seem attractive visually, but your comments are as ugly as they get, or are you just one of those skinny girls making fun of bigger girls for kicks? Um, why do you care? All women are queens! Not, not gonna lie, I almost hoped that this would be another one of those SJW charged drama pieces where my Twitter blows up for two weeks straight because I made a really innocent tweet and people decided that blowing it out of proportion is the best use of their time. <laughs> but no, all that happened while I was on vacation was uh, some guy on Twitter telling me that I'm a filthy race mixer and that I would not be laughing for very long after my last video. That had some fun. <laughs> I love Twitter. Anyway, let's get on with the article. Men want sex with fat women, but won't date them. Men who want sex with fat women, but won't date them. Notice the use of the plural men in the above statement. Hold on to it in your mind like you have to take a waz, but there is a line to the bathroom. I had sex with a guy I thought was relationship material, but when I suggested we go out in public together, everything came crashing down. And now notice that she has specified that the entirety of this article has been inspired by the failings of a relationship between her and a single guy. I would uh, ask you to hold that simultaneously, like you have to take a dump, but again, there's, uh, there's a line. Sue me, I just came back from a two-week trip to the Mediterranean where using the toilet was either hit or miss, and sometimes you had to pay 50 cents in lira to do your business. It's not fun. I know. I now hold a newfound appreciation for the USA and its bathrooms. Yes, I do. Many years before I got together with my boyfriend, I had a sex thing with this guy that I thought was relationship material. He not only had an amazing body, but a great personality as well. I was honest when I met him that I was looking for something more than just sex, and he led me to believe that that was what he wanted to. Led you to believe. Did he actually say that? Outright? Bully? I mean, I've been there. <laughs> the woos of being in a relationship with a guy who's not fully committed, but knows that you're all in. Yeah, I've been there. High school was a dark time though for me. Cause that sounds like a, that, that, that's, that honestly sounds like a high school move to me though. The way to avoid that is to be extremely specific and ask him to be as well. If he refuses, then bye bye bitch. Between having mind blowing sex, we ordered home delivery, played video games and watched movies, coupley type things, but without the label. Shit. Those things are couple -y type things, and I have about four housemates next semester that I need to set up some boundaries with. One moment, please. 
but when I tried to get him to go to a show or out to dinner with me, he refused. Yeah, I had that same problem with my boyfriend and myself and my dad. None of us ever want to leave the house, like, ever. You know, I, I think we might just be home bodies more than out bodies. My frustration grew as the months went on, and one day, I confronted him. Why don't we ever go anywhere? We have everything we need right here, he answered, while simultaneously distracting me by caressing my shoulder blades. It's a really weird visual, but alright. We actually don't, I said. I'm hungry, let's check out that new Indian place around the corner. No, we might run into one of my buddies, he said, moving his body further away from me. The underlying meaning was clear. He couldn't take the chance that someone he knew would see him with me. We needed to keep our relationship on the down low, so that no one would ever suspect that he enjoyed spending time with me. A fat woman. <laughs> hey, honey, you said it, not him. You know, honestly, I wouldn't enjoy spending time with you either. But not because you're a fat woman, just because you're a woman. <laughs> but therein lies the issue. You assume that that's what he meant, but you don't know. <laughs> unless you point blank asked him, is it because I'm fat? His friends could be jerks, he could be an introvert, he could have agoraphobia, or he could be looking for a casual thing. I don't know, nothing serious. Who the fuck knows? You never, you never had that conversation, I bet. You never talked with him and sat down and was like, okay, so this is what I want out of this relationship. What do you want out of this relationship? Communication, guys, it's key. Your relationship problems with this guy likely don't stem from your dress size, rather your shared communication skills, which are lacking. That's usually the root problem I've noticed in people's relationships. Every single time. Every. Fucking. Time. Without fail. He was super fit, so obviously that's the kind of woman that he wanted to be associated with. Oh, obviously. Ob obviously. Based on what? Did he say so? Did you ask? Back. The kind he would be seen with at the Indian place. When I realized that he was ashamed of being seen with me, again, he never said that, you assumed that that's what he meant, I felt as if I had been punched in the stomach, a place where much of my pain already resided. Get it? Cause she's fat? Sorry, fat was uncalled for. To him I was fuckable, but not dateable. I like how she censored out fuckable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he dumped me soon after that conversation. <laughs> it's not like we don't know what she's saying. She said the whole world word except for one vowel, which she put the little star asterisk next to. That just boggles my mind every single time people do that. Like, what's the point of censorship? We know what you're saying. <laughs> and he dumped me soon after that conversation. So then you were together and not just unofficially official? Hmm. Unclear. God, I'm so glad I don't have to worry about this anymore. <laughs> oh, didn't you guys know? According to a certain ranting monkey, I'm an incel. <laughs> nah, fam. Not with sex appeal like this. <laughs> I love it when you guys make me into a meme. It's my favorite thing. He did me a favor by not continuing to lead me on. Otherwise, I might still be trying to prove to him that I was worth any shit. Again, with the, the censorship he might have gotten from other people. If I were still his secret shame. Oh, secret shame. Like, foot fetishes. I might not have met my boyfriend, so thanks, athletic asshole. Why you gotta hate on athletic people, man? I was athletic once, a long time ago. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Like two years ago. I'm still athletic. I got really nice cardio abilities. Especially after this vacation. Oh boy, we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna reiterate this one for the people in the back. Unless he actually said, I'm ashamed of being seen in public with you because getting your fat ass through the door of a McDonald's takes a couple of pushes and is quite embarrassing, then you can't make that claim, honey. Mm -mm, sorry. Nah. Not gonna happen. I had hoped that now, in this day and age of body positivity and acceptance, that men no longer need to hide their desires. Wait a second. Now men are hiding their desires? Doesn't that go against the whole theme of toxic masculinity wherein men are just filthy, sexy, horny pig people thingies all of the time, going all dicks out harambe on bitches in the street for no good reason other than my balls are blue. Pick, pick. Let me smash. Please. No, Ron. Go find Becky. You all are some fuck. And that being labeled as someone who likes fat women isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, it's not. 
there's definitely worse things that you can be into. Trust me, I've seen things that cannot be unseen. Horrors from deep in my excursions across the web and through the net. I've read stories and heard accounts of those who've survived and said goodbye to friends who did. Hashtag never forget. Hashtag never again. But I was wrong. Recently, model and fat activist. That's an oxymoron. Tess Holiday posted on Instagram. Y'all want to have sex with a fat girl and enjoy it. Y'all look at porn of fat women, but y'all don't want to date a fat woman. Hashtag the fuck. Where are the Pornhub statistics on this one? Because I, I don't think that's the case, madam. By the way, I actually did take a very scientifically sound and accurate Twitter poll of my followers, so not biased whatsoever. And uh, that was not the case, at least with them. With over 1,100 comments, Tess's followers confirmed that the bigotry, misogyny, and fear of fat shaming by association was still happening. You know how I said that my Twitter thing was a little bit biased? Well, this is probably also a little bit biased, because who do you think follows Tess Holiday? Just fat people. Who do you think doesn't follow Tess Holiday? Any of the people that these fat people have dated, so they cannot confirm nor deny this, because they don't even know that they need to defend themselves. Just a thought. Fear of fat shaming by association was still happening. Her words resonated with them, and they all shared the same truth. It's just a sad fact. Many men who are sexually attracted to fat women are ashamed of it. Well then, I guess we have an epidemic on our hands. The Instagram scientists have spoken, and they need to be heard. Clate the Begin. Again, I don't think that all of these men follow Tess on Twitter and were up for defending themselves or admitting that in the public space because if they're ashamed then they wouldn't do you see where the logic doesn't flow because i do maybe it's just my sleep deprived travel addled brain but i see no connection <clears throat> They're okay with banging a fat girl, but they don't want to hang out with her. Someone might judge them for it. As fat women, we're forced to develop thick skin. <laughs> thick skin? Get it? Because she's fat? Because people already feel that it's their right to say anything to us. It is. It is. According to the Constitution, it is. We're tough enough to handle it, but some men's egos are just too fragile and they crumble. Look, honey, if you write an entire article generalizing men as a gender, as having fragile egos based on your perceptions of how one of your exes responded to you that you interpreted as shame years ago, I don't think you're the one to be telling men their egos are fragile, honey. <laughs> It's one thing, if you're not into fat women, everyone has their preferences, and not every body type appeals to everybody. Exactly, like me, I have a very specific, weird body type preference. It's called Nightwing, and those who look like Nightwing. Exclusively. But if you find larger women hot, and you want to have sex with them, but don't want to be associated in public with them, then that's emotionally abusive. I wouldn't necessarily call it that. More, it speaks to a person's certain insecurities one has with their own self-image, that it's so fragile that the mere association with somebody undesirable or deemed so by the public could shatter it. That's their own personal issue of identity and security, but not emotionally abusive. It's not malicious on their part. You might feel like you've been used, and you might have been, but if that's the case, then there's a whole bunch of prostitutes and one-night stands out there who uh, have engaged with people of that nature that you just victimized by that logic, just saying. If you're attracted to fat women, but date thin women as a cover, that's just as screwed up as using people to fake your sexuality. It will hurt everyone involved. I knew a gay guy who hadn't come out to his family, so keep his fake hate as a straight person. He'd date very conservative Christian women, Christians so that they wouldn't expect him to sleep with them. He didn't think he was doing anything wrong by dating them, but in fact, he was using them and lying to himself. You know, I'll concede that point. It is fucked up if you're not honest with people or yourself, especially if you drag other people into it though. Can we all agree? Don't be that person? Yeah, okay. There we go. Everyone should have the freedom to express their desires openly as long as there's consent from both parties. If you modify your behavior and wants to what you think will protect you from criticism and or ridicule, then you need help because that kind of self-loathing will only grow until it has destroyed you. If a fat woman wants a purely sexual relationship, that's great, but it shouldn't be her only option. It's not. There are plenty of fish in the sea. One of them is bound to want to be in a relationship with you. Jesus fuck. Some guys think that they're doing a fat woman a favor just by having sex with her. 
Is that another one of your brilliant psychoanalyses that I'm getting a whiff of? Because it, it's not very well supported by the lack of data that you've presented. That we're beyond grateful for any attention whatsoever. Because we're fat. We're willing to do anything, almost anything, with anyone. And that there are no limits to what we'll do to please you. No one wants to be on the try it once list. Don't tell me you're thinking for, don't tell me you're looking for a relationship or act like we're in one when all you really want is to experience what sex with a fat woman is like. Again, assumptions being made here with very little data and or evidence to support that that's what actually went down here. Hmm. I'll tell you what it's like. It's as amazing and fun as having sex with anyone who's into having sex with you. We don't have magic vaginas and our breasts don't do any special tricks. Well, besides the usual like feed and comfort people. That is a bold faced lie. I can tell you as someone with abnormally sized big breasts that there's a lot of tricks we can do that uh, the non big breasted people cannot. Fat women are just as hot and sexually gifted as women of other shapes, sizes, and abilities. Being fat doesn't mean we're so hungry for attention that we'll put our own needs aside and do whatever we can to rock your world. No, that's what being a woman on the internet in any capacity means. Hey, that's me! <laughs> If you're with someone who doesn't make you feel beautiful or who isn't proud to have you on their arm, you need to dump their sh their ass. Again, though, a sentiment that I can get behind. I don't know. I, I guess the sun and the ocean has made me more agreeable as well as all of the ancient Greek ruins that remind me that everything is uh, temporary and that we're all going to crumble into dust and turn into grass one day eventually. Fun! Someone find me something to piss me off. I need to get out of this vacation mode that I'm in. Alone is far better than compromising on what you deserve or being made to feel as if you're someone's big dirty secret. Big! Get it? Cause she's fat! You're not only dateable, you're lovable and worthy of being treated with respect and love. I regret not standing up for myself when I discovered that the athletic guy was only using me for sex. Ha! Yes, my dear Sherlock Holmes. However, HOWEVER, did you deduce that from body language and mild introversion alone you are truly the world's greatest detective but at least i learned as we all should that i'm responsible for being my biggest advocate and to never accepting anything less than what i need biggest get it because she's fat sorry this video seems lazy to you guys a bit but you know we were we're talking about fat people and as the saying goes when in rome that's enough cheap shots from the peanut gallery, i.e. me. <laughs> it's so, so good to be back. So, so good. I wonder what I've missed. L let me know in the comment section everything that I've missed because God knows I can't go back through the 300 notifications burning a hole in my YouTube sub feed. All of the important bits leave nothing out, people. I'm curious. I want to know. The 411. Might even do a video about something, if it really, really catches my interest. Keep your eyes peeled for more content from me in the coming weeks, live streams and videos alike. We got big stuff planned for the summer. Oh boy, oh boy. By we, I mean me? Or do I? We'll see. Because it's just me, right? Yeah? Yeah? No one, no one else is doing anything with me at any point in time. That revolves around collaboration-y type thing. I'm just gonna leave it at that. You're gonna have to guess. <laughs> I am very slap happy right now. I literally just got home yesterday after traveling for 24 hours straight and not sleeping a goddamn wink at all. But, okay, that's it. I'm gonna go do something productive. Maybe. Okay, now I'm signing off. Now, now I'm signing off. Okay, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider checking out the links in the description to the Teespring, Amazon, and the Patreon. If you like my stuff, but not necessarily that much, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. Peace.